Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with our six-box bases-loaded baseball mixer. Uh, random team break number one featuring all of these boxes right here. Some good stuff in here, some solid stuff. Nice. I like it. It's a good price point as well. Big thanks to all of these folks for getting into it. And all 30 teams are in. Now, you saw, everyone saw our progressive jackpot promo today, right? It is up to $400. So there it is. All we got to do is pull a one of one. Now, printing plates don't count unless they're autographed, but like a base card one of one will count. So, and only the people in this break where, the, where that bounty is hit, only the people in this break will be eligible for that break credit. So at the end of the break, new dice roll. I'll randomize everybody's names. Name on top will get 400 bucks. All right, so big, once again, big thanks to all these folks right here. And let's randomize each list. One and a four, five times. One, two, three, four, and five. Garrett's like, I want to hit the jackpot, but want Jaspies to stay in business. I'm Don't worry, we wouldn't be doing this promo if we couldn't afford it. Russell Hall down to Sean Parr. I just like to pretend that we're going to lose our shirts in this. One and a four, five times. Makes it sound more dramatic. One, two, Three, four, and a one. Five times. So five times here, five times there, five times there. Good luck, everybody. Indians down to the A's. All right, Russell with the Indians. Bulldog fan with the Royals. Blake with the Angels. Drew with the Astros. Richard Johansson with the Yankees. The X-Line with the Nets. Russell with the Giants. George with the Marlins. Last spot mojo. That's why the star is next to your name. Justin Carowick with the Rockies. Drew Kerr with the Pirates. Sean with the Cardinals. Alfred with the Rays. Joe L. Wirt with the Tigers. Rolando Garcia with the White Sox. Drew with the Mariners. Luke with the Rangers. Arthur with the Braves. Rolando with the Diamondbacks. Todd, you got the Padres. Eric with the Red Sox. Richard with the Blue Jays. Scott with the Brew Crew. Don, you got my Dodgers. Rolando Garcia with the Phillies. And the O's. Garrett Kerr with the Twins. Chris Parent with the Mets, the X-Line with the Cubs, Richard Johansson with the Reds, and Sean Parr with the Athletics. Let's alphabetize these by team, and feel free to trade if you'd like. Justin wants the Pirates. And remember, these are the boxes that are in here. So 2000, there's four 2019 boxes right here. So, so be smart. About that. George. Hint, hint. We got Twins up for trade, Nationals up for trade, Pirates up for trade. If I do lose my shirt, yes, I could wear the red vest. Red vest, no shirt? I could do that. What are we what are we doing here? Pirates, Rockies? All right, Pirates, Rockies, looks like that's confirmed. Gotcha, okay, both Justin and Drew saying, yep, yes, sir. All right, so Justin, you're out of the Rockies spot. Drew Kerr, you're in the Rocky spot now. And Justin, you've got your Pirates. So a little PC mojo right there. And yes, George, there is 2019. Reading helps the item descriptions. Uh, I don't know, Grover. I don't run that channel, so I have no idea. Yeah, it's a little chillier today, William, so that's what I got going on today. All right, Alfred has worked out a trade. What do we got? Raise Indians? You sure you want to do that, Alfred? He says, all right, I'll take that trade, my man. All right.
All right, so Russell, you are out of that Indian spot. Alfred, you're out of the Ray spot. Russell, you are now in the Ray spot. And Alfred, you are now in the Indian spot. Lowercase t for trade. All right. Anyone else? Nats for Astros, maybe? Otherwise, we'll go. Astros for Twins, maybe, Drew? Otherwise, we will we will go. Trade window going once. Trade window. He's going to stick with the Astros. All right, so TWC, trade window closed. Yeah, it's a little overcast today, so it got, it got dark pretty fast. All right, good luck, folks. If a one of one gets pulled, not printing plates unless it's autographed, but if a one of one gets pulled, even a base card one of one, just a regular card one of one, $400 of break credit given away to someone in this break only. So something to keep an eye out for. And big thanks to all of these folks right here. So there's the 10th right there, six box, bases loaded, baseball mixer, random team one. You can see the T's next to there for those of you who traded. Yeah, Super Fractor would do it, Grover. You're absolutely right. Let's go with the oldest box here, which is 2016 Donruss Optic Baseball. So we'll go with a little blast from the past. So this break will actually take a little bit of time. So go to Jaspi's. Where's my knife? There it is. So go to jazbeescasebreaks.com and start browsing around and see what you want to do after this. It's probably a 30, 40 minute break. So kick back and relax. Got some baseball on TV right now. How are my picks doing? Oh, the Pirates about to screw me out of my bag. I, I'm, I'm on the Orioles tonight. What's up, Joe Babcock? I'm on the Orioles tonight. They are down by six. That game's delayed. Um, Blue Jays. On the Blue Jays, they are... What are they doing? They won. They beat the White Sox. Nice. They held on to beat the White Sox. Rangers. Rangers are only, did they lose? Where's Texas? No, Rangers did not hang on. Pirates. Oh, Pirates are at 2-1 now. All right, Pirates. Keep it up. I'm on the Pirates tonight, X-Line. Sorry. Uh, KC, I'm on KC tonight. I've been on a really bad losing streak for the past couple weeks. I need this. Royals are up 4-1. The Nationals are down a run. And the Giants, they probably just started. The Giants are losing 4 nothing already. Come on, Giants. Now, I, I don't, I don't, I'm not really into the UFC. I'm not really into the, into the UFC. I enjoy watching it, but I, I just don't know enough of, to, to make a... Uh, you know, to make decent decisions on it. You're thinking, wait, Joe, did you go against your Dodgers tonight? I did. No, I mean, I'm not putting that much on it, but the thing with the Dodgers is that they're such a public team, and they're a good team, that oftentimes they get overvalued a lot, so you can try to you can oftentimes find value with the opponent, especially at home. Dodge have a great record at home, but you can try to find a little a little bit of extra value there. All 
All right. So this is 2016. Good luck, everybody. 2016 Panini Donruss Optic Baseball. One auto per box? I, I don't remember. Yeah, I think it's one auto per box. Unless we find a hot box. All right, Eddie Rosario, he's been raking lately. Is he on the mound tonight? Kenta Maeda might be on the mound tonight. There's the San Diego Chicken. Does not go to the Padres. That's not affiliated with the Padres, but this will be randomized to someone in the break. And A.J. Reed for the Astros, for Drew Kerr. Rated rookie autograph. He had some trade offers for the Astros, but he, he politely declined. Who, Grover, who should I take in UFC tomorrow? <laughs> Let me just tail your bets. Is Chris Sale back on track for the Red Sox? Maybe. It's Corey Seager, who looks like he's getting a little bit healthier. There's Tyler Naquin, rated rookie, to 149. Manny Machado, Orioles edition to 299. So this Rose character is getting knocked out, huh? All right. Make a note of that. How many units are we putting on this? And Jose Peraza, nice. Rated rookie autograph, nice one for the Red Legs. And that goes to Richard Johansson in the Reds. There's Steven Strasburg to 149. And Carlos Gonzalez at the end right there. All right, this will be a randomizer at the end. All right, next box, 2018 Diamond Kings baseball, which is right here. It's a very sp specific scale you've got there, Grover. Grover is saying Rose is going to, I don't know who this person is, but Rose is getting knocked out, Grover is saying, even though she's hot, she's going to go to sleep, KO'd. <laughs> she shaved her head, but with hair, she's an 8.6. Sometimes some girls look pretty cute. They've got pretty feminine faces. They'll, they look good with a shaved head. Um, but with her, she's an 8.6. <laughs> and William countered maybe 8.4. It's a specific scale. You have a spreadsheet with formulas built in there? There's Otani. We'll save these. I don't know. I don't, I don't mind it. I don't mind a chatty Kathy. We've got ooh, seven out of fifteen. Ryan McMahon. That's some nice relics in there.
So rocks. That was a part of a trade. Drew Kerr. Drawing first blood in that trade. Now let's see if it'll even out for uh for who traded? For Justin, who has the Pirates. Felix Jorge, Shoyo Tani. Those might be variations or whatever. I'll save those. Shoyo Otani, that's a, you can see the different parallel right there. Greg put a bird on it, original materials, dual relic for the Yankees. It's going to go to Richard Johansson. No, I, 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 like I said, I don't watch too much UFC. If it's on, I'll be like, yeah, okay, I'll watch it. I don't actively follow it, though. Kind of like hockey. Like, I like hockey. But I just don't have time to actively actively get into it. No, I don't have the hard drive space for it. There's Ty Cobb to 149. Ozzy Albius. Shoei Otani, artist proof to 99. Nice. I remember when this came out, all of those Shohei Otani parallels sold so well. Shohei Otani back in action, folks. Seems just hitting. He won't be pitching until next year, but so far as a hitter, so far so good. There's Nolan Arenado. I think if I had my druthers, um, if I had my druthers, I think that they should have Otani be like a reliever. You know, have him be like, have him be a closer. He's got pretty electric stuff. All right, uh, now we're into 2019. The remaining box are 2019. Let's do, let's do this side first. Why don't we knock out some, uh, some Gypsy Queen first? 2019 Gypsy Queen. There he is. He'll be doing a lot of that, not a lot of that. Two on card autographs per box is what we're looking for. Good luck. I think some of these could be autographed. We haven't seen one yet, but set that aside over there. Yeah, I think they're they're having him DH, Mr. Mike said. Yeah, they're not I don't think they're gonna risk having him use that elbow at all for, for throwing. So yeah, I think I'm pretty sure he's just DHing. Which means more Albert Pujols at first, which I think is a liability, but I don't know, the Angels aren't going to be winning a lot of games this season. Anymore. Uh, do I have finals for you? Final scores for you? I do, ladies and gentlemen, here on a Friday night, the 10th of May, 2019. The, the Brewers, they were the early game, the only early game today. They were... They shut out the Cubs seven to nothing. Blue Jays edged out the White Sox four to three. The Red Sox pounded the Mariners fourteen to one. Are the Red Sox coming back a little bit? Are they coming back? Really slow start to the season, but looks like Chris Sale has put together a couple start a couple good starts in a row. Mookie Betts seems to be hitting a lot better. So maybe they're maybe they they're starting to turn a corner. That World Series hangover is real. Dodgers experienced some of that last season. I think it, I think for them it was also like the like the month of April, better part of April May, and until they really started pulling you know taking things around. 
In a perfect world, Mr. Mike's Daddy, I would have Otani, yeah, be a reliever, be a closer, and DH. I mean, he, if he, ha he ha clearly has the talent to do both, but maybe not the, you know, it's a physical challenge, right, to do both. So, I mean, he'd be fire as a closer, right? Imagine him being a closer. Imagine him pitching, maybe not in a safe situation, but imagine him pitching like, you know, actually, no. Yeah, just think about it this way. Imagine the fire. You would keep butts in seats until the ninth inning, right? Imagine he hits, you know, at the top of the ninth, right? He would have to be on the road, I guess. Top of the ninth, he hits the go-ahead run, gets, hits a go-ahead at home run as a DH, and then pitches the bottom of the ninth to close out the game. Or vice versa. That, like, all that's possible. You know? Or he, you know, pitches to a tie in the top of the ninth and comes up in the bottom of the ninth and walks it off. All right. 2019 Gypsy Queen. I think that would be cool. I don't know if the Angels are going to do that, though. I, I think they want him to stretch him out to be a starter. And there's Austin Meadows. Well, we won't win. Those, those will be shipped. Austin Meadows for the Tampa Bay Rays. That goes to Russ, who got the Rays in a trade. Austin Meadows cast aside by the Pirates and now raking with the Rays. Dakota Hudson, that's to 50, black and white. Ace of Swords, Bryce Harper, Fortune Teller, they're all just going to be upside down, right side up, sorry folks, some of these are going to be backwards, ain't no one got time for that. Justice Sheffield. Should see one more autograph out of here. Where are you? There it is. Luis Urias for the Friars. Todd. With the Padres. Nice one, Todd. Twenty one out of fifty for the Padres second baseman, youngster. Pretty solid player. Maybe we'll find his teammate, Tatis Jr. in here somewhere. Guys in the chat are talking about Mookie Betts, whether he'll stay in Boston or not. Grover is saying, man, we send him to arbitration every year. It pisses him off. He wants to be the highest player in history. It's not going to happen in Boston. Yeah, why wouldn't it happen in Boston? I feel like they... Out of 250. But it's not like the Red Sox are afraid to... They're not afraid to spend money, you know? Why wouldn't why wouldn't they lock up Mookie Betts? I feel like Mookie Betts is a safe bet for you know a big a big contract. Yeah, we'll find those short prints, Edward. Our shipping team will take care of those. Make myself a little room here. Oh oh oh! I I I see. You're Grover is saying that that. 
Mookie Betts wouldn't even sign a contract if he if he was offered. He would have to be offered a an, an, a, a obscene amount of money for him to actually stay in Boston. Grover thinking that he doesn't like it in Boston. Has Mookie Betts said that? He's like, I don't like Boston. Are you friends with Mookie Betts? I get what you're saying now, though, Grover. There's Brian Anderson. Paul DeYoung has been hitting well. And Javier Baez. Well, no one's won the Progressive yet, Blarg. It's at four hundred dollars. Next one, next break with a one of one, four hundred bucks to somebody in the break, not the one of one winner, but the person in the break. Uh, let's do two thousand nineteen Donruss baseball. Three autographs or memorabilia cards per box on average. Good luck, everybody. Final scores. Brewers over the Cubs, 7 nothing. They shut them out. Uh, no, we already went through those scores. Oh, the Yankees edged out the Rays, 4-3. to And the Mets pounded the Marlins, 11-2. to Twins shut out the Tigers, 6 to nothing. Twins are looking really good this year. And the Astros, 3 nothing over. They shut out the Rangers. Ooh, Don says raise the Jolly Roger. So the Pirates apparently win. It's not, a, not official on MLB.com yet, but I like what I'm hearing here. That, that helps. I've, I've been on a really bad two, three-week streak on my MLB picks, ladies and gentlemen. I, I need some wins. I need to go on a, on, on a hot streak. Oh, yeah, I think they announced Mega Millions as well. I've got two Mega Millions tickets sitting right here. But yeah, as for Mookie Betts, I feel like, yeah, I don't know, unless unless he's gonna turn down. I mean, there's like no, it's not like basketball, but but um, you know, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Sox offered him two hundred million for eight years, and he gave them the bird. Obviously, the Sox don't see his value like he does. Um, I mean, that's just like an opening offer, right? I would think that is a little low. I mean, considering what Machado got, and considering what Arenado got, and considering what um, Mach uh, Harper got. So when when's when's he when's he up for free agency? Actually, I, I, I don't really know. Oh, he's got another arbitration year. You know, I would, I would, I would do another. I would, if I'm the owner of the Red Sox, I'm doing another year of arbitration. That's what I would do. And if he crushes, you got to get, you got to pay him. <laughs> All right, out of nine ninety nine, American Pride, Kenyon Yovan. Also, hang on a second. William has reminded me that there is a a basketball game going on here. Let's see if we can get to TNT or ESPN. I forget what. No, oh, ESPN. Warriors at Rockets. Apparently, they're tied. I know it's a baseball break, folks, but sorry. And we've got Signature Series. That's Jake Bowers. 
Looks like Ray's edition. They still haven't converted him all the way over to the Indians yet. That goes to the Rays, and that goes to Russ. It's kind of funny that this was there's this was the Rays Indians trade, and that's what happened with Jake Bowers. Still Tampa Bay edition though in this set. There you go, Russ. I don't know. I wouldn't Grover. I wouldn't be so down yet. Red Sox are known to spend a little bit of money. You know, I think Mookie Betts, obviously, with an MVP, that's a key player, right, to their squad. You know, they've, they've got money. They're not afraid to spend money. And I don't think that's the only offer that they're going to make him. Shohei Otani to 150. Oh, I thought that was going to be an autograph for a second. That goes to the still nice Angels, Blake Margot. With that. And listen, remember, you know, I, I think the way the way money's being spent in baseball, right, is um, is a little weird now. There's Francisco Lindor, right, because those those big contracts aren't automatic anymore. Look how long it took to sign J.D. Martinez. You got J.D. Martinez who had a great deal. You know, Craig Kimbrell and... Kimbrell and, uh, and, and, and Keiko aren't even signed. You know, look how long it took for Harper to get signed, Machado to get signed. Now, I think there's Trout. Trout. Trout to 150. Is that his contract right there? Four, oh, that's 460. But. But I think it's it's a big game of it's a big game of chicken between players and owners nowadays. So I think it's pretty it'll be pretty interesting. I wouldn't give up on uh, on, on Mookie Betts. I don't think that's a done deal. There's Clint Frazier, majestic materials for the Yankees. Richard Johansson. There's my boy Walker Bueller. It's a relic for the Dodgers. Don Rabb with my Dodgers. Grover's like, hey, I want to see him stay. But they just aren't treating him right. I think they're treating him just fine. That's how I would treat him. That's how you that's how you want your ownership to treat him. Don't give him like Kobe Bryant deals at the end of their career. That's what treating right that's when treating a player right, that's what happens. You overpay Kobe for the last two years of his career. I've seen it happen in LA. Now you gotta like gotta be a lot more methodical, I think. You know, you just can't overpay a guy just to treat him right. How is he gonna project to the future? How is he gonna play to the future? But that being said, I mean, I, th I think they'll make him a, a more than competitive offer. To keep him, unless he just completely just tanks and is just a terrible player and his work ethic is awful and all the advanced metrics say he's going nowhere, you know. You know, then then you can you can make the argument, hey, it's good to let him go, but let him walk, let someone else overpay him, but. And the Red Sox are, are, are not known to, to spend their money unwisely. More Yelich for the Brew Crew. Scott V. So I feel like I feel like they will they, I feel like they'll be fine. I can imagine them letting letting Mookie walk. Yeah, I gotta th I gotta think he'll they'll they'll give him they'll give him Thirty million a year somehow, or maybe less years, more money, or more years, and average average annual value thirty. I can't imagine they wouldn't. 
and arbitration, that's part of the process, you know what I mean? Everyone knows that in baseball. 2019. Arbitration is going to happen to everybody. Walker Bueller is going to get arbitrated for the, for as max amount of times. You know? Alex Verdugo is going to get, going to get arbitrated as many times as possible. All those young guys, you know, all those young guys in, uh, in, in Houston, they're going to have to get paid at some point. This game is four minutes left in this basketball game. Four minutes left till tied, 97-97. Just going to go overtime? Golden State leads 3-2. All right, so this is 2019 Diamond Kings. Well, yeah, you, I mean, you can't pay everyone. So, yeah, maybe you let, maybe you let JD Drew, uh, JD Drew, <laughs> maybe you let JD Martinez walk. Different, different player. Uh, maybe you let JD Martinez walk. There's a lot of ways to fiddle with the numbers. If it's, it's a little bit easier to replace outfield production, right? And to be honest with you, shortstop production too. You can let Xander Bogarts go too. We're in a golden age of of, of middle infielders, though. That was the mistake. I guess that was the one bad decision they made, <laughs> paying Chris Sale. If they could redo that, I'm sure they would. And we got Bobby Richardson, old Yankee. Four out of 25 for the Bronx Bombers. That'll be for Richard Johansson. Oh, wait, they did pay Bogarts, right? Well, who else is next? Well, they're not going to pay. Well, I don't know who else they wouldn't pay then. But I think, yeah, yeah, I was just going to say, I think they got a good deal with Bogart, so. They'll find the money for they'll they'll find the money to make bets a competitive offer. I, I I again I can't imagine that they wouldn't. And the big hurt, Frank Thomas, Jersey Kings. For the White Sox, that's gonna be for Rolando. Numbered? Not doesn't look like it's numbered. All right, and last box coming up, which will be 2019 Bowman Baseball Jumbo Edition. So three autographs in there. Let me clear myself a little space here. All right, good luck, everybody.
All right. Good luck. Here we go. Last box. Looks like we're at the 40 minute mark. Okay, it's a little bit longer than I said at the beginning of the break. But it looks like I got nine orders here. We'll go through those orders and we'll see uh, we'll see what we're going to do after this. No one said anything sold out at the moment, so maybe nothing sold out yet. That triple threads has got to be sold out. Okay, so triple thread seven is sold out. Man, we're we're getting closer and closer to that bounty or that uh, that progressive jackpot that we got to hit the bounty to to hit the progressive jackpot. The one of one. So unless we find a one of one in here, looks like the folks in triple thread seven will have a shot at the progressive jackpot, Woo. which is at four hundred. Well, it would be if we don't hit it here. It's already at 400. If we don't hit it here, it increases to 450. Winner take all in that progressive jackpot too. A minute 30 left in this basketball game. Golden State leading the series 3-2. And the Warriors are up 107-102. They may win in Houston without Kevin Durant. They may win the series right here. I, I actually honestly don't know what to do. I didn't realize hockey filled first. Oh, I can't do hockey first. I have to do whatever filled first, Logan. First to fill, first to break. And that's especially crucial when we're doing these progressive jackpots too. So I'll have, I'll have to go through orders then. Let's see what filled first. There's uh, Ronaldo Hernandez to 125. We'll breeze by this paper, it's not shipping anyway. We may see Brendan McKay up maybe sometime this season. A cup of coffee? And our first autograph is Andrew Neisner. Neisner? That K's got to be silent, right? Like knife. Speckle, 155 to 199 for the Cardinals. Sean Parr with the Redbirds. These are just facsimile autographs. Hey, they're playing my intro music in Houston. It's mine, Rockets. Hang on a second. Ooh, shot blocked. 30 seconds left. Wow.
And there's Tommy Romero. 109 out of 499. Goes to Russ and the Rays. Nice refractor auto, Russ. There you go, man. And one more autograph to go in here. Let's see what it's going to be. And we've got Anthony Ziegler, gold shimmer. That's to 50 right there. There it is. 24 out of 50, kind of hard to see with the studio lights reflecting. Should have one more auto, three in this jumbo box. There's Mitch Keller to 499 paper. Almost done, folks. No no progressive jackpot hit yet. Maybe the next break. Rugnet Odor to 499. And the last autograph is Victor Victor Mesa for George and the Marlins last spot mojo. Nice. That's a big one right there. And there you have it, folks. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. The bounty was not hit, so the progressive increases. To $450 for the next break. Wow. Thanks, everyone. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.